this shirt used to be gray. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of dry right there. Look how much you sweat when wearing the coveralls. I think I'm gonna ditch them. I've done, yeah, and then look at my pants. So I get the camera to scroll down there. They're soaking wet. That's just how much sweat I've released. I've been re replenishing myself before I go and do this, um, the rest of this, um, what do you call it, uh, the grinding. Look at my hair, look at this. <laughs> uh, I just went and washed my face to get rid of a lot of this junk, but not a whole lot you can do. It's just uh, really gross. So all the uh, major grinding is done. Uh, it's going to do the wire wheel. First, I'm going to go clean up. Um, I was going to do the wire wheel next, but there's so much dust in there. I'm going to take my vacuum in there and do a little bit of cleaning up first. I'm ditch, ditching the coveralls. They made me lose too much water. Um, I'll just deal with being itchy. It's not that big of a deal. Time to clean the filter. It is probably, oh man, that's beautiful. Look at that. It's just caked. What I'm gonna do. can't uh, pick anything up when it looks like this. This ought to work a little better. Now, we're going to try our wire wheel.
that respirator on and we'll see uh, just how well this does. much. I'm going to go back to the chemical method. We're going to try using the goof off and the uh, acetone together. It seemed to do a decent job up in there. We'll try it and see. I've got a wire scrub brush somewhere. We'll try that also. But yeah, that uh, high speed, what it does is it, uh, it actually melts the rubber and it becomes gummy. got to be a better way. I just, uh, nothing's getting that stuff off. It's actually making it more and more gummy where it doesn't want to come off. And anything that you put that's uh, strong enough to remove it can actually destroy the vinyl ester resin that binds this, this boat together. So, uh, I guess I'm going to have to go get about uh, 10 of those 36 grit grinding wheels and just power through it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm running up to Home Depot. I say 10, probably 3 or 4, and just deal with it. It's probably going to burn up my grinder, but oh well. It happens, right? So I'm off. I'm going to go change my shirt and probably my pants and we're going to Home Depot real quick. Be back later. Alright, so I got a couple of 36 grit 
I know this works, but it just takes forever. So here we go. This is very, very slow. Well, that's one down. I made it to the front of the boat. The goof off did not help at all. Um, made it worse. So uh, I've made it, it's hard to see, but I've made it almost all the way forward to the bow section with one wheel. And uh, it's a whipping, that's all I gotta tell you. So I'm going to change uh, wheels and then uh, keep going around and just keep you know, coming back. So, All right, I'm tired. I'm done for the day. Uh, I still can't get that stuff out of there. I've gone through uh, five grinding discs and they gum up. I try to use acetone to, uh, to clear them up, not just gums up again and the, the, the uh, grinder gets too hot to, to hold. So it's just, it, it's annoying. So. Uh, Got to find something else that's going to work. I'm um, not sure what I'm going to do. Um, somebody told me this methyl ethyl ketone. Try that. Uh, I've tried the acetone works, but it takes forever to work and it dries up before the stuff can get uh, uh, soft. So I need to find something that's uh, doesn't you know dry up so fast and also um, you know will remove it without you know sitting there for eight hours scrubbing away. I mean, there's got to be an easier way to this. Uh, and I'll find it. Um, so I've got it all the way up to the bow, uh, ran out of discs and, and I just, I, I gotta find something different. It's about 5.30, um, got a little rain moving in, so it's time to cover the boat and uh, take it easy for the day. So I'll, I'll get back out here tomorrow and uh, we'll see what we can do and figure it out. I'll think about it all night and I'll come up with something, I always do. So anyway, um, hopefully by the end of this weekend we have a deck cut and fit. Um, all I have left to do is get the rest of this junk out of here and then we can start actually measuring and cutting for a deck. So, talk to you next time.